So as the next chapter, we are going to learn about the software Gem. So in order to open up the software, click on Application, Graphics, then GNU Image Manipulation Program. So when you open up the software window, you will be able to see three windows. This is the toolbox window, this is the canvas window and this is the layer window. So all the layers what we are creating will be visible here and all the tools what we need to use in this window is available here in this toolbox window. And this is a window where we create our canvas. The greatest advantage of a gym software is layers and layers means transparent sheet of papers. So if you are creating a poster using a gym software we will be creating each and every part of the poster as layers. And if you want to remove any particular part, we can directly remove it by clicking on the eye symbol of the layer what we see here in this layer window. And if you want to get it back or retrieve it back, you can just click on that box here and we can get the file back. So in the gym software and we will be creating the entire file in different different layers and after completing the whole file, we will be exporting it as an image file. and all the layers will be fixed so that we will get an image. So first we will create a canvas. So for that click on file new. So here in this window we have our option template and we have image sizes. So if you are asked to give a specific size for your canvas for example 700 into 500 you have to give the size here in the width and the height column. So if you are not asked to give any specific canvas size, you can select a canvas size from the templates available here. So for selecting that, click on this button here and here you can see the various available templates of canvas. So here I am choosing 1024 into 768 and click on OK button. So we got a canvas, you can see we got a layer of our background here. So as the next step we have to color our canvas. So for that we are having four options. The first option is by changing this foreground color. The second option by changing this background color. The third option by applying a pattern and the fourth option is by applying a gradient color. So in this four different way we can color our canvas. So as a first step we are going to select a foreground color and background color. So click on this black box here. So change foreground color window appears and in this window I am going to select a red color. So click on OK. And now I am going to click on this white box. So change background color window appears and here from this color strip I am going to select a green color here and here I am selecting this green and click OK. So we got our red color as a foreground and green color as our background. And here also we can see when you click on this gradient tool, we can see a gradient color is being created by the foreground and background color what we have selected. So now we can use this bucket tool to fill this foreground, background and this pattern to our window. So select the bucket tool here, then click on this window. So you got our foreground color applied because the background color is behind, we are not getting it applied. Now we are selecting a pattern from here. So here we can see the various patterns and here I am choosing this pattern. Then I am selecting this bucket tool and click on this window. The pattern is also not getting applied. So in that case we have the option edit menu here and here we can choose fill with FG color. So already the foreground color is filled in our window. So we will choose the option fill with BG color. So now we can see our canvas is filled with the green color here. And if we again click on edit menu fill with pattern we can see our canvas is being filled with the pattern what we have selected. So if you 
So if you want to apply an another pattern, select this pattern here, then click on edit menu, fill with pattern. So the new fat pattern has been applied. If you feel any difficulty in applying the foreground color or background color or pattern using this bucket tool, we can use the option edit menu and we can use any of these three options. So as a next step, we are going to apply the gradient color to our window. So here click on the gradient color box here and you can see the various gradient colors available here. So here I am first going to apply the gradient color what we have created by mixing the foreground and background color. So click on this FG to BG and here I am selecting this blend tool. So click on this blend tool then click and drag and draw a line in any direction to apply this gradient color. So now we can see the gradient color what we have created has been applied. So if we click back on this direction it will be applied in that direction. And if you want to choose any other gradient color we can choose it here. So here I am selecting this gradient color blue green. So click drag and draw a line. So now we can see this gradient color has been applied. So for in the exam, if you are asked to prepare a gradient color of your own, you can prepare it by mixing the colors, selecting in the foreground and background color. Okay, so as a next step, we are going to create a logo. So for that, click on file, create, then logos, then 3D outline. So here in this window, we have to type our logo. So click on this text box here and remove the text. And here I am going to type the text World Environment Day. So my text is typed. Now I have to click on the OK button and don't change anything here in this window. So click on the OK button here. And now we can see our logo has been created. And here in this layer window, we can see three layers has been appeared. One is the pattern. Pattern means this writing style. Then bum map. So here the eye symbol is hidden. So we are not able to see the bum map. So bum map means this text in a black canvas. So we will click here. Then the eye symbol will be visible. And we will be able to see the black canvas. And drop shadow means the white canvas. So if you click back on the eye symbol, it will be removed and the black background will be also removed. And we need only the text and we don't need any background because we have already created a canvas with beautiful color being applied on it. So we just need the text and not the background. So here I am also removing the drop shadow. So I am clicking on the eye symbol here. So the white background will be removed. So now we have only the logo here. We are going to copy this logo to our canvas. So for that we have to click on the edit menu and here we have to choose copy visible. The reason why we are choosing copy visible is we have already removed the black background and the white background and now we are seeing the text only. So as we are seeing the text only here and we are seeing it in a transparent background and the check boxes what we see behind is the default background of the gym software. So here we have the text and world environment day in a transparent white sheet of paper. That is why we are seeing the default background of gym there and we need only this text. So here we are choosing edit copy visible. So what is visible there only the text. So click on copy visible. So now minimize this window. In the canvas window, we have to click on edit, paste. So here we can see the logo what we have created has been pasted in the window. And our lines are running around this logo. And in the layer window, we can see a new layer as floating selection. Floating selection means we have copied and pasted a new thing to our canvas and we have been created a layer for it. That is why it is shown as a floating selection. So as a next step is we have to create a layer for the pasted thing. So click on the 
new layer button here in this box. This is the new layer button here. So, click on this. Then we can see the floating selection has been changed and we got the layer named as pasted layer. And we can see the running lines around the logo has been removed. Now, as the next step, we have to make this logo fully visible in this window. So, for that we have to scale and make this logo some more smaller. So, for that we have to use the scale tool. So, from this toolbox we have to choose this scale tool button. Then click on the logo. So, as you click on this logo you will be able to see a another window opening up here and a check box like this will be visible on the logo. So, click and drag inside and make the logo smaller so that it will be visible. So, click on both the sides and we can drag it smaller. Then after finish dragging, click on the scale button to make it active. So, now our logo is smaller and we can fully see it in our canvas. So, as the next part, I want to drag this logo somewhere upwards so that I can add some more content or picture or something like that in the bottom part of the window. So, for that I have to move my logo world environment to some more to the top. So, for that I am using the move tool. So, here in the toolbox select the move tool and bring your mouse pointer to the logo. So, here we can see three tools are there. One is the mouse pointer, one is the pointing hand symbol and the third one is our move tool. And when we move our mouse pointer towards the text, there we can see only two symbols are there. One is the mouse pointer and the move tool in a normal size. So, when you see this two tool only, you have to drag it or drag the logo upwards. So, if you when you see the three tools, if you click and drag, what happens is, just see the background is moving and not the logo is moving. So, if you want to move this logo, so when you see the two tools, press your left mouse button, then drag it upwards so that the logo will be moved. So, now we can see uh, we have positioned our logo to the top. So, as the next part, we have to include a picture. So, for that, click on the file menu, then open, then click on this Dell, and here I am choosing school resources and here I am choosing standard 8 then images and here I am choosing the file plow.jpg. So, click on the open button and we can see the picture has been opened and as this window is active we can see only one layer plow.jpg. So, now I have to copy this picture to my canvas. So, for copying I have these three tools. The first one is rectangular selection, the second one ellipse selection tool and the third one is freeform selection. So, we can either use this rectangular or ellipse or freeform selection. So, here I am choosing the, so here I am selecting the rectangle selection tool then click drag and select the picture what you need. So, click on edit copy then minimize this window then here click on edit paste. So, now we can see our picture has been pasted window we can see in another layer as plotting selection because we haven't created the layer for the picture. So, as the next step we have to click on the new layer button here. So, we got the layer pasted layer 1 and our picture has been pasted in the layer. Now, we have to drag this picture downwards. So, for that choose the move tool, then click on the picture and drag it downwards. So, now we can see our picture is being pasted and positioned properly. So, if you want to remove the edges of this picture, we can use this eraser tool. So, select the eraser tool, then if you want to enlarge the size of the eraser, Click on this size tool and make it bigger. So, now we can see our eraser has got some more bigger. And if you want to remove this edges, you can click drag and you can remove the 
edges. So, here I have to type another text June 5th. For that, I have to click on the text tool, then click drag and draw a rectangular box here. Double click inside this box to type the text. So, now we can type June 5th. So, June 5 I am typing then select this text so that we can make it some more bigger then click here in this font size box and make it bigger then if you want to make this text bold this is the bold button click on this bold for making the text bold then italics then underline so click on anywhere else in this window so the selection is removed and you can see the text is here then if you want to position this text here you have to choose the move tool and one more thing we can see here in this layer window a layer has been defaultly created by the software for the text so we do not have to create a layer so now we will move this text upwards when we see only the two tools so press the left mouse button and drag it upwards so our text is there so now I am clicking on the background. So my picture is there, my text is there and my logo is there. So now if you want to create or draw your own pictures, you can use this pencil tool, paintbrush tool and airbrush tool and one more is there ink tool. Ink tool is for spraying the ink. So if I have to, I want to draw a picture my own, so click on the pencil tool then you can increase the pencil size here or if you want the size they can use it here or if you want to increase or decrease you can do all those things here so i am in decreasing the pencil size then click drag and draw whatever image you want then if you want to change the color click on this foreground color and choose any color then click ok then you can draw it So, these are the pictures what we have drawn and if you want to use the brush tool also you can use it here and then if you want to change the size you can decrease it here or if you want any other brush you can click here and we can select any brush from this window there are so many other brush sizes here you can choose any one from here so you can click and drag and draw the lines so, as the next step, I want to save this as an image. So, for that, click on File, then Export as, then click on the Dell. So, here I am giving the file name as My Drawing, then click on Export, and here also Export. So now my file is being exported. Now we will save this as a GIMP file for editing it after ports. Click on file, save as, click on Dell. Here also I am giving the file name as mydrawing.xcf. Xcf is the file extension of GIMP file. So click on save. So if you want to edit this file, you can O directly open it and you can edit it. So to quit file quit do not close any window just click on file and quit and here choose discard changes so we will just open up the file what we have saved so double click and open the home folder and there we can see this is the image what we have exported and created double click and open it my drawing.png this is the image what we have created and this is the gym file what we have saved my drawing dot xcf so if you want to edit it you can edit it here